Nintendanam and Namaste. Shri Nithya Parashadananda here. And before I get started, I uh, just wanted to speak real quick that I'll be leaving New York today in an hour or two. And I'm going to be heading back home to Bidhi with Swami to live with Swamiji and the others um, in the Arinam. So just wanted to let you guys know of the upcoming program that's happening at the Arinam, which is Mahasadashivoham. Pretty much uh, having a consciousness breakthrough. Um, you guys will be able to, with the links below, will be able to, the links will be updated. Um, if I don't get it now, I'll get it within a day for you guys to check out the information for the program, um, how to get there and everything so you guys can get prepared. It's going to be December 16th. And also another program, Yogitva, is a yoga program that's happening, which is a world tour of Nityananda Yoga, original yoga, um, yoga yoga, no bear yoga or buloka yoga, whatever yoga that they're coming up with nowadays, Sanskrit yoga from the Agamas. That's where the source of yoga comes from. Now, let's dive right in. It's only going to be a couple minutes. Um, I know the holidays are nearby for people who's not going to Mahasadashi Roham. I wanted to speak about will persistence, um, your desires, and what you believe, your belief system. Because a lot of times people believe that they need to focus on something to get what they want, which is not entirely true. Um, the three main things that you would need is will persistence. Will persistence, as Swamiji defines it, is not giving up on your intention, not giving up on your goal. And that comes a long way because a lot of times people also is not integrated, which is the second thing. Being integrated. Um, being integrated is pretty much every single action that you're doing is going towards the goal that you want. Not having any side idea, second guessing, doubts, none of that. Because if even if you're having doubts, then you are not, you're not being integrated. You're not knowing that you're going to get it. You're just thinking, oh, okay, if I don't get it, then at least I have this or at least I can do that. No. If you go ahead and hear many of the actors, especially actors, when they was even got to the point where they were homeless, but still doing their thing, and now they're huge. One of the guys I know is the um, the very small guy from Game of Thrones, when I went ahead and I saw about his story. It's really amazing. But the main thing is will persistence, being able to not give up on your goal and your intention. Um, the second thing is being integrated. Making sure all your actions is towards that. Now, the third thing, the third thing you need to understand is that you do not manifest what you want. You do not manifest your desires. You manifest what you believe, what you cognize. If you want health, you want wealth, you want good relationship, you want good work, you want good life, you want chocolate, whatever it is, then why don't you have it? See, a lot of times people want this and want that, desire this and that, but they don't have it because you don't manifest what you want. You don't manifest your desires. You manifest manifest what you believe. So the most important thing I can say is you need to understand why do you believe that you won't get wealth? We'll use as an example. See, lots of times people want wealth they want millions of dollars in the next 24 hours that might sound nice and say yeah that would be great but do you really know why you, people want millions of dollars within the next 24 hours winning lottery and everything because deep inside they believe that they're not going to live long enough to see it they're not going to live long enough they think that oh it's going to take forever to get that amount of money i need it now or I won't be able to use it, this and that. And another thing, having a great relationship, not just with people, but with money, love, work, home, yourself. You see, you can't just have a hit and run relationship with wealth, go ahead and win the lottery, and then next thing you know, spend a little by little and trying to live comfortable life. No, no. 
That's not that's not how it's going to work. You'll end up feeling cheated. You will. So that'll be all for today. Um, just wanted to let you guys know to not give up on your intentions, no matter what it is. This is one simple truth that I want you guys to cognize before I go. Every single experience that you go through is for you to experience oneness and sadashivatwa. For you to experience oneness and sadashivatwa. For you to experience oneness with the divine. If you look at it from that way, you'll never be powerless and feel like you're a victim. That'll be all for today. Nityanandam.